Right, hello, baseball fans. Welcome to After Further Review. I am your host, Steve Tower, and tonight uh, we are starting out uh, our 2024 Baseball America Co-op League uh, here, and this is uh, it's game three of the season. Uh, we actually opened up on the on the road for this season. Um, so, uh, but this is our home opener. Um, but we split the first two games of the season, one and one. Uh, including a, um, a marathon 19 inning <laughs> game one of the season. Uh, so uh, let's see how we can do tonight. Uh, we will be having our starting pitcher tonight is one of our free agent pickups uh, that we drafted. Um, Benny Herberto will be taking the mound for us. Uh, let's see what he can do. Uh, the New England Minutemen had a rough, <laughs> a rough, rough offseason, uh, losing uh, several key free agents, including, of course, Fernando De La Rosa, no longer uh, towing the mound for us. Uh, so it's going to be a very, very different season. Um, expectations are not high, but hey, you never know until you start rolling the dice, right? Um, also, uh, uh, just a quick note, I will be using a, a, a new set of cards uh, this season, the Leap Cards, um, and you can see Sean Cardi uh, right at the top of the lineup here has one. Uh, this was a, a new set of cards introduced this year uh, by Keith that is a pretty neat mechanic. Uh, so each team has, um, I think it's between three and four, uh, maybe one team has five, um, and they start out on an all-star side, and if you ever have to reference the quality that's highlighted in blue, um, the home run king quality for Sean Cardi, um, if that is referenced, then you flip it over to the superstar side, uh, which is a, um, I guess, the best version <laughs> of uh, that player. And then it'll stay on that side of the card until... Um, uh, the quality that is in red, if that ever gets referenced, uh, then it'll flip back over uh, to their all-star side. Uh, so for tonight, uh, the, um, the Minutemen will have three players, um, Sean Carty, uh, Corbin Young, uh, and their closer, uh, Colton Grandstaff, uh, will have those cards. And for the... Um, let's see, I believe it's only one player will be out. Uh, their, um, their closer, uh, Leonard Biggs, because I think that their other player is a 
starter, um, and uh, he is not starting tonight. So, um, so when we get to those, I'll uh, hopefully we can flip them over uh, to their superstar side because I would like to see that. Um, all right, uh, we will get things going here. Um, <laughs> I had a very interesting random draw for my umpires. Uh, I just shuffled all of them together and dealt out the first four. Uh, so we have three questionable umpires out. It's a it's an Angel Hernandez all star lineup of uh, <laughs> of umpires tonight. Uh, Wayne Kasherak is behind the plate. He is strict and questionable. Uh, Reggie Cade at first is strict and semi questionable. Uh, the crew chief, Chris Miramonte, uh, at second, semi-strict and respected. Uh, and then Dave Houts is semi-questionable over at third. So, um, who knows <laughs> what will happen once we get going. Uh, coming into a home opener, both teams will be semi-harmonious. Uh, so we will uh, start on the uh, the sunny side here for our pre-game rolls. Um, and uh, neither team has a, a, a TFN. Uh, going at the moment, so anything that we get uh, will will be the first one of the season for either team. All right, so first we'll roll for the visiting. Uh, high notes, and it's going to be pitching coach visit uh, and a non-issue. Just saying that Archie Makahi is is good to go. And then for the Minutemen, um, there are I don't roll any injuries in these co-op leagues, so a six will just be a, a non-issue. For the Minutemen. All right. So there we go. All right. So Benny Herberto, uh, our key free agent pickup. <laughs> I use key in quotation marks. Uh, finishes his warm-up tosses. And we are ready to go. Uh, welcome to everyone joining me in the chat room. Uh, let's see. Uh, Derek from Imagine Sports is here. Uh, Richard Berner is here as well. Uh, Richard Beach. Mark Russell in the house. Mark, there's always a seat saved for you. Uh, let's see. And uh, Michael Canestrari is joining us as well. Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, Blake Molyneux, the center fielder for the high notes, steps in, and we are underway. Here we go, our first pitch at 9.07 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, 236, uh, not a double control. Um, oh, and actually, I just... There is a, a new rule this season that a 2-3-6 um, for the batter column, instead of pitcher batting strikeout, uh, since the pitchers don't bat, bat, don't bat rather, well, it's easy for me to say, uh, instead it becomes if it is the same. So, um, well, in this case, it's not. Um, so, because uh, Blake Molino bats from the left-hand side, so this is going to be a leadoff walk. Blake Molino draws a leadoff walk, and there we go. Oh, Polly Potus was the other player for Nashville that has the um, the all-star card. All right, so Polly Potus, the starting shortstop for the high notes, comes up. Nobody out, and a runner at first. All right, so Herberto from the stretch. Uh, and, oh, nice. So uh, Herberto does not have the flash quality. He's a semi-workman in full control, and that's going to work to his advantage here because instead of a strikeout, it is going to be a 6-4-3 double play. The pitcher's best friend, and just like that, the leadoff walk will be wiped out. All right, so double play will empty the bases, and that'll bring up Garland Ard, the third baseman, for the high notes. And let's see what he does here. One, two, six. That is a fresh check. We're all fresh until the uh, until the fourth, and that is going to be a line out to second, and that will do it. So. Uh, Herberto faces the minimum. No runs, no hits, nobody left on. We'll head to the bottom of the first, and there is still no score in the game. All right. So, Sean Cardi leading things off. Sean Cardi has now been in the league long enough that he has lost his, <laughs> his, uh, his semi-prospect 
experience. So here we go, uh, and it'll be Archie McCaughey throwing on the mound for the high notes. Uh, he is a right-handed thrower and just has the flash quality. Uh, as Robert joins us in the chat room. Welcome, Robert. All right, here we go. Let's see if Cardi gets the party started. Uh, let's see. Oh, and unfortunately, <laughs> he will, but in a bad way, uh, as Makahi is not a star. Uh, Cardi is a slugger, but he is also a whiffer because he got the dot, so it is going to be a strikeout. To lead things off. One down. Nobody on for Corbin Young. Makahi kicks and delivers. Oh, hey, 245. That is a hero check. So Young is going to get the first hit of the night. And that is the quality that is highlighted in blue. So he is going to flip over to his superstar side. Uh, and he will stay there uh, for the rest of the game. Uh, unless he gets an eager quality check. All right, so Minutemen have their first runner aboard. A one-out single by Young, and here comes J.R. Keel. Uh, Keel, the DH tonight for the Minutemen. Makahi from the stretch. Three, four, six. Oh, darn it. Uh, J.R. Keel is a full eager batter, so uh, he is going to reach on what would have been ball four, and he will fly out to center field for the second out. All right, two outs, still a runner at first, and here comes uh, the, uh, the left fielder, uh, Dari Monik. Monik in his second year here with the Minutemen. Uh, oh, and he is going to go down swinging. So Makahi gets two strikeouts in the inning. No runs, one hit, one runner left on. And after one full, there is no score here from Bitty Beer Ballpark. Okay, so here in the top of the second, we'll have the four, five, and six batters coming up for the high notes. Uh, leading off will be the first baseman, Alex and Brogno. Let's see, and that is another fresh check, so Herberto will get his first strikeout of the evening. And there's one out, nobody on, for Alex Brown. So the high notes, uh, both of their free agent pickups uh, were batters, and uh, they are batting back-to-back -back in the lineup. Alex Brown... Uh, at second, uh, their first free agent pickup. Let's see what he can do here. Four six six. Oh, that's the the bad control check. Well, bad from the pitcher's point of view. Uh, he is going to groove one, and Alex Brown will uh, pull that down the line into left field, and that will be the first hit given up by uh, Heriberto. So we got one on, one out, and here comes Big Moose Reina. Uh, Reina in right field tonight for the high notes. Let's see, three, five, five. Not a struggler or gilded, definitely not a champion. Uh, let's see, that is going to be a strikeout. Reina goes chasing. And comes up empty. So two strikeouts <laughs> around a single. So two out now. Still runner at first base. Uh, here comes Pedro Gallardo. Gallardo in left field tonight for Nashville. Alberto checks the runner. Brings to the plate. And he is going to get Gallardo to swing over the top of a curveball. Just a weak grounder back to the mound. He picks it up. Fires on to Young at first. And that will do it. No runs, one hit, and one runner left on. We will head to the bottom of the second, and there is still no score. Uh, as Dominic joins us in the chat room. Welcome, Dominic. Hope that you are well. Thank you for tuning in here on a Friday. On a, a good Friday, if you will. All right, so here in the bottom of the first, 
we'll have the middle of our order. Uh, Jimmy Pastor is going to lead things off. Uh, Pastor in right field for New England. Let's see what he can do. Uh, that is going to be another fresh check, and we are just in the second. Makahe with plenty of gas. He will get Pastor to ground out to short for the first out. Omar Tovar, our second baseman, uh, batting second here. And let's see what he can do. Two, three, five. Pitcher is not wild. Uh... Well, this is one of the good times to be an eager batter, as long as you don't have the whiffer quality, which uh, Tovar, um, he has. He has full eager, and he is not a whiffer. So he is going to jump on an early pitch uh, and drive one right back up the middle for the second hit of the night for the Minutemen. So one on, one out, and here comes the third baseman, Heath Howes. Uh, how's a switch hitter, and he'll be batting from the left-hand side here against Makahi. Makahi from the stretch, kicks, delivers, ooh, 566, six. let's see, not wild, does not have the good eye quality, that is going to be a strikeout, and that'll be two down, and we're going to go to the right now chart, which is unfortunate, because um, our number eight batter is the designated cold batter for the game uh, as we're heading into uh, the first game of a series. So the batter will be cold, Makahi will be semi-hot. And he will get the dot, let's see, so four, five, cold batter swings and misses for the strikeout. And that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, and one runner left on. We are through two full, and still no score here from Biddy Beer Ballpark. All right, so here in the top of the third, we will have the eight, nine, and one batters coming up for the high notes. Uh, the DH, Glenn McGoldrick, will lead things off. Herberto, uh, let's see, he does not have the flash quality. Uh, McGoldrick is not a champion, so that'll be a ground out to second. And that is how the second, or the third inning rather, will begin. That'll make up the number nine batter, Brandon Santos. Uh, Santos doing the catching tonight for Nashville. His first at bat, five, five, six, not an ace. Um, oh, he is not a sad sack. Uh, let's see. Oh, it would be a double, um, but he has the Sigma uh, on his card, so instead it will be a single, uh, and he is not an active batter or an active runner. So Santos gets a hit from the number nine spots. Uh, just the second hit given up by Herberto, but we'll now go to the top of the order, and here comes Blake Molyneux. Uh, Molyneux walked in his first at-bat as Bob joins us here. Welcome, Bob. Happy Friday to you. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's the 2-3-6. Uh, so that is going to be another walk. And for the first time, we have a runner in scoring position. Polly Potus coming up to the plate. Uh, he ground in to a 6-4-3 double play in his first at-bat, and we would love to see that again. All right, Herberto wiped the sweat from his brow, and then uh, look in for the sign. Gets one he likes, kicks, delivers. Oh, and he will definitely get one that he likes, uh, as that is going to be a grounder to first, and they will go three, six, one, and get out of the inning. Oh boy, POTUS grounds into his second double play of the evening, and once again. It gets uh, New England out of trouble. 
So, no runs, one hit, and one runner left stranded. We will head to the bottom of the third, and there is still no score. Let's see, as uh, Ian Brooke joins us in the chat room. Welcome, Ian. Hope that you are well. Okay, so here in the bottom of the third, uh, we will have the nine, one, and two batters coming up. Uh, so the rookie, Don De Jesus, is going to lead things off. Our shortstop, uh, maybe our shortstop of the future, uh, won, won the battle for shortstop in training camp. Let's see what he does here. One, two, four. Uh, the pitcher does not have control. Uh, the batter is not eager. So that is going to be a leadoff walk. All right. We like that. Leadoff walk, and we will go back to the top of the order. Sean Carty, 0 for 1 so far tonight. Struck out in his first at-bat. Uh, so a big opportunity here. Uh, let's see, three, five, five. He is not a struggler. Oh, and Cardi is not a champion. Let's see, um, he is not a whiffer. So this is going to be a grounder to second. Uh, so they will get the runner um, at second, but they will not be able to turn the double play. So it'll be a fielder's choice. So now there is one out, one on, and here comes Corbin Young, who will get to bat from his superstar side. So he's a champion hero, uh, a full slugger, uh, and has uh, the Delta Double on his card. Uh, also semi-eager. If we get an eager result, um, he will flip back over to his all-star side. Uh, all right, so here we go. Cardi dancing off a of first base. Makahi from the stretch. Kicks, delivers. Oh, and that's going to be a flash result, which is the only quality the Makahi has. And that will be a big, big strikeout for the second out. Oh, boy. Just power versus power there. Makahi comes out on top. Some high cheese. And Yon could not catch up to it. All right, so that'll bring up J.R. Keel, our D.H., who is 0 for 1 tonight. He flew out to center field in his first at-bat. Cardi on at first. Can we drive him in? Let's see. Uh, that is a whiffer check, and he's only a semi-whiffer. The dot says no, so we're going to have our first outfield drama. All right, so a shot into the outfield. Uh, let's see, is the left fielder gold? So the only gold fielder that Nashville has is their shortstop, who is semi-gold. Uh, everybody else is neutral except their first baseman. So no, the left fielder is not gold. So that is going to be a single. Oh, boy, and then he's going to fumble the pickup. <laughs> And that is going to lead to a run scoring as Cardi will make it to third on the hit. And then he will come home on the error. So that is a, a single and then an E7 on Gallardo. And the first run of the game comes in. We'll, we'll take runs how we can get them. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right, so a single and then advances on the E7. Okay, let's see. And I believe that we will go to, yes, we're going to go to the experience chart for the next at bat. So Makahi is neutral. Uh, Dari Monet is uh, a semi prospect. Uh, as D. Scott Howard joins us, welcome. Uh, let's see, a one, two, not an icon batter. So that is going to be a strikeout to end the inning. So we end up just getting that one run. 
Let's see. So one run on one hit, one error, and one runner left on. We will head to the fourth inning. One to nothing. Minutemen on top. Uh, and we will start on the right now for the next at bat. So Garland Ard is going to lead things off. Uh, he lined out, so he will be neutral. And pitcher starts the inning neutral. So neutral versus neutral. And one, two, hot batter, no. So that'll just be a ground out too short. One down, nobody on for Alex Imbrogno. Uh, Imbrogno struck out in his first at bat. Let's see. Um, yes, that will make Sports Center. Yeah, and what would Sports Center be called here in the the Avalon universe? We should come up with a whatever the the sports channel name is here that we could use across all of our playthroughs. All right, so here we go. Imbrogno steps in. One out, nobody on. One run game here. Two, three, three. Not an acer star. Uh, Imbrogno is not a slugger, thankfully. He's actually a semi-home run king, but not a slugger. That'll just be a fly out to center field. Cardi will track that down. A few steps in front of the track. So two up, two down. And here comes Alex Brown. Uh, Brown got the first hit of the evening in his first at-bat and was stranded at first. Let's see. One, three, five. Oh, this is going to take us to the ballpark chart. And Bitty Beer Ballpark is a, 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 a very comfy, cozy place. It is small to left and right batters. Let's see. Here is the roll, three, four. Uh, it is not a big ballpark, uh, so the shortstop snags it and a ground out. All right, so a deep, deep shot uh, that shortstop has to go back into the outfield grass and then in the style of some shortstop I can't remember from New York, will jump and throw and get Brown by a step. So one, two, three. Go the high notes. Here in the fourth, we will head to the bottom half of the inning. Still 1-0 New England. The Place Sports Center. As my name is Mud. Um, <laughs> let's see what Richard's saying. That, uh, oh, Edward Meek joins us. Welcome, Edward. Um, ESPN is, is trying to drop MLB. Um, that's true. Oh, poor ESPN. Um, who knows what they're going to be like in a couple of years. Um, all right, so here we go in the bottom of the fourth. It'll be the middle of the order coming up for New England. Pastor Tovar and um, Howes going to lead thing or uh, be due up. Pastor ground out in his first at bat. Uh, let's see, two, four, five. He is not a hero, so he is gonna pop out to second base for the first out, and we will go to the experience chart. Uh, Omar Tovar, a semi-prospect. Makahi is neutral. Here's the pitch. Let's see. One, two. Not an icon batter. So that is going to be a strikeout. And we're going to go to the right now charts. So pitcher will be semi-hot. And Heath Howes is going to be semi-cold because he struck out in his last at-bat. Here is the pitch, and oh, and it's neutral. Uh, let's see, cold pitcher, no. Uh, so just a shallow fly to right field. And that will do it. One, two, three. Go the Minutemen. Here in the fourth, we will head to the fifth inning and a one nothing game here. A good pitching matchup so far. These are both the number three um, pitchers in the rotations for both teams. Let's see how long they can keep this up. Uh, here in the fifth, uh, it's going to be the uh, the bottom of the order. 
Uh, let's see, the six, seven, and eight batters coming up, so I guess in the middle of the order. Moose Reyna is going to lead things off. Reyna uh, struck out in his first at bat. Uh, and a shameless plug from Derek from Imagine Sports. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, next Tuesday, there we go. Next Tuesday at 8, 8 p.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, please be sure to check out uh, his broadcast, Las Vegas versus Buffalo. All right. So here we go. The pitch to the Moose. 144. Four. Uh, not a flash. He is not a hero. Uh, so that'll be a ground out to short. Herberto got his. Curveball working tonight. A lot of ground outs. Here comes Gallardo. Uh, Gallardo 0 for 1. A uh, little comebacker to the mound in his first at bat. Star, no. Uh, he is not a slugger or a sad sack. So he is going to drop a single into center field. And that'll be the third hit of the night for Nashville. And here comes the D.H. McGoldrick. McGoldrick ground out to second in his first at-bat. Here we go. Herberto from the stretch. Three, three, six. Uh, he is not an ace. Let's see. But uh, McGoldrick is uh, a utility. I uh, got the dot. So he is going to watch strike three. As Herberto paints the corner with a beautiful, almost Nolan Ryan-like curveball there. Just froze him. All right, so big second out. And that will bring up Braid, uh, Braden Santos. Uh, Santos, rather. Uh, Santos one for one on the Knights uh, with a single and then was stranded. Um... In that at bat. Oh, that's right. The that was the inning that ended with the the second <laughs> Polly Potus double play. All right, here we go. Herberto throws. Uh, Fresh got the dot, so that'll be a line out to second, and that will do it. Here in the top of the fifth, a fantastic outing so far by Benny. Scattering three hits and not giving up a run so far. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. one nothing still for New England. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, of course, dodgeball on the Ocho. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right. So here in the bottom of the fifth, um, Archie McKay not pitching a bad game himself. Uh, let's see. Let's get our uh, in-game tally here. He has one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. He has seven strikeouts so far. Uh, also scattering three hits um, and is the unlucky um, recipient of an unearned run, which is uh, the only run of the game so far. Uh, facing the eight, nine, and one batters here in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, the catcher, Austin McHorter, going to lead things off. He struck out in his first at bat. Oh, let's see, four, four, five. Not a workman. Uh, batter is not patient, so that's just going to be a hard grounder to first for the first out. One out and base is empty for the shortstop Don De Jesus. Uh, De Jesus walked in his only at bat here tonight. Let's see what happens here. One, four, six. That is a flash check, and that is going to be strikeout number eight for Makahi. And the second out of the inning, and we'll go back to the top of the order. Sean Cardi, he has struck out and reached on a fielder's choice and then came around to score uh, on the air uh, from Gallardo. Uh, which is still the only run of the game so far. Let's see if he can get his first hit of the night. Makahi kicks, delivers a fresh check, and he gets the dot again. So he's going to get Cardi to ground out to short. And it'll be a 1-2-3 inning for the Minutemen here. 
in the bottom of the fifth. So we will head to the sixth inning now. Still a one nothing game. Oh my goodness. Our pre-game over-under brought to you by Imagisports was 10.5. So anybody that uh, was betting the under must be feeling pretty good right about now. AFR does not condone gambling. <laughs> I feel like I have to say that just in case someone makes a bet. Um, all right, let's see. Um, oh, now we got some some dodgeball <laughs> quotes going on here. Uh, let's see. Um, FS1 and FS2 show Aussie rules now. Oh, all right. I so I have I cut the cord to cable. Uh, oh boy, it's four years now. Um, so I don't watch, I don't get to uh, catch any of the uh, the sports uh, cable shows anymore. But, uh, all right, so here in the six, uh, let's see, we will be back to the top of the order for Nashville. So Blake Molyneux going to lead things off, and Molyneux has walked in both of his plate appearances. Um, he has walked. Let's see what happens his third time up. Uh, and this time, finally, Herberto is going to win uh, the at-bat, and he'll get him to ground out to short. So, one up, one down. Here comes Polly Potus, who is having a night that he will try to quickly put behind him. He has ground in to two double plays in his two at-bats. All right. Herberto swings, one, two, four, and he is going to get POTUS to ground out to short. Herberto has the curveball really working here tonight. And here comes Garlinard. Uh, he is 0 for 2. He is lined out and ground out. Uh, let's see, one, four, four, not a flash. Uh, he is not a hero. He is a whiffer, though, so that's going to be a strikeout. And one, two, three. Go the high notes. Here in the six. Boy, Benny Herberto uh, looking like a great free agent pickup for uh, New England, who need all the help that they can get um, pitching and <laughs> batting. But... Um, Let's see what happens. All right, so bottom of the six, uh, Makahi will still be semi-fresh as he's only given up the one run uh, and pitched a heck of a game. Boy, oh boy. Uh, just those three hits uh, and still um, charged with that one unearned run, which is the difference in the game right now. All right, so Corbin Young <coughs> comes up to the plate. He is still on his superstar side. So let's see if he can take advantage of that card. Makahi kicks, delivers. Let's see. Workman, no. Uh, Whiffer, no. So this will be a ground out to third. And we will go to the experience chart. J.R. Keel, a semi prospect, and Makahi, a neutral. So let's see. Get a blank on that. 1 5. Uh, prospect batter, no, uh, because of the dot not coming up. So that is going to be a hit. And the DH Keel uh, gets his second hit of the evening. So one on, one out. And it looks like they'll get a little bit of action going in the bullpen for Nashville. Uh, let's see. They will get a... Well, let's see. I guess they'll get uh, Jamal Huxford going in the pen. Uh, Huxford and, I guess, uh, Knoyer. So we'll have a righty and a lefty ready there, just in case. All right, so one on, one out for uh, Monet, uh, Monik. Let's see, uh, who has struck out twice. So he would like to avoid the, the hat trick, <laughs> if he could. Three, four, five, iron catcher. I believe their catcher is neutral. So not an iron catcher. Uh, he does not have a good eye. Oh, and that is going to be the hat trick. 
as Monek goes down for the third time on strikeouts. Uh, let's see, and that will be the second out. Um, and it will go to the right now chart. So Makahi will be uh, hot, and Pastor is going to be neutral. He popped out his last at bat. All right, what is going to happen here? Four, five, cold batter, no. Um, oh, so it's just going to be a ground out instead of a strikeout. So Pastor, ground ball up the line. And the first baseman will grab that, take it to the bag himself, and that will do it for the six. No runs, one hit, one left on, and we will head to the seventh inning. It is one to nothing. New England on top. Holy moly. So anybody who's a fan of, uh, of pitching duels, we have got a good one going here tonight, and uh, an unexpected... <laughs> good pitchers duel um let's see so um herberto will still be semi-fresh um, because he has not given up a run uh we will get a couple of pitchers starting to loosen in the pen though uh hideki wada and billy lowen will start to get warm in the pen just in case uh, but for now it is herberto's game uh and it'll be the middle of the order coming up and brogno brown and reyna do up here. So in Brogno, 0 for 2 so far tonight with a strikeout and a flyout. Here's the pitch. Uh, let's see. And that is going to be a strikeout in Brogno. Thought he had the curveball timed, but swings right over it. And he will shake his head as he walks back to the dugout. That's his second strikeout tonight. One out. Base is empty for Alex Brown. Brown one for two with a single and a ground out. Uh, let's see. Not an Acer star. Uh, not a sad sack. Um, oh, we almost got... Uh, he's a semi-eager, but doesn't get the dot, so that will be a hit. Uh, as he will drive a single into left field. And there we go. The fourth hit of the night. For the high notes, and here comes the moose. Uh, let's see, Reyna 0 for 2, strikeout and a ground out. Let's see, Herberto starting to show some signs of fatigue out there. We're going to let him try to pitch out of this, though. Let's see what he can do here. Here is the pitch. 2, 3, 4. There is a runner on base. We're going to go to plate drama. Oh, boy. Plate drama, always fun. 1-5. Catcher is not gold. The catcher is neutral. Right, yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, so it's going to go in the dirt, and it's going to be a passed ball. So, oh, boy. So the tying run into scoring position on the past ball oh boy and we are going to go uh let's see yeah we're going to go to the experience chart uh reyna is a full icon herberto is uh neutral oh boy this could be interesting all right here is the pitch, 1-6, uh, Icon Pitcher, no. Uh, that is going to be a single. Let's see, and I believe with one out, that is only going to get the runner to second. Uh, yes, especially with a, um, a semi-stoic runner. All right, so we will have runners at the corners now. Oh, boy. And now it's decision time. Uh, as Gallardo comes up, and I think that is going to do it for Herberto. Uh, we are going to go to the pen. 
Uh, and we're going to bring in um, one of our lefty specialists to face Gallardo. So a fantastic evening for Benny as he goes six and a third innings, uh, giving up five hits, no runs so far, is responsible for the runners on base, although if that one run were to score, it would be unearned. Uh, let's see, and what did he end up with? I think, what do you have? One, two, uh, three, he ended up with five strikeouts, which for somebody that doesn't have the flash quality, <laughs> on his card is is pretty good uh, and then had uh, the two walks all right and here comes Billy Lowen a young left-handed fireballer and he is gonna try to put this fire out here that the high notes have going all right so runners at the corners one out and a one run game here comes Billy Lowen uh, and he'll be throwing about 10 miles an hour faster <laughs> than the starter he just relieved all right here we go Lowen kicks delivers <laughs> and that is exactly what we wanted. Lowen has the double flash quality uh, and he is fresh. So that means that Gallardo will go down swinging for the second out. And then Glenn McGoldrick will also go down swinging. Oh boy. Woo. So close the books on Herberto. No runs given up by him. And holy moly. Billy Lowen has got this crowd on its feet as we head into the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> All right. So here we go. My freshly tuned up uke is ready to go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back, so let's root, root, root for the minute men. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. There we go. All right. The Bitty Beer crowd is fired up. As we head to the bottom of the seventh. All right, so um, Makahe will be um, will be out of freshness, um, but I think they're gonna let him uh, face Tovar, um, and uh, Huxford will be. Let's see. Well, actually, I guess it wouldn't really matter because the next batter is a switch hitter well unfortunately rob uh gallimore who was the manager for nashville um put a post on the forum that he could not join me here um otherwise i would uh, definitely ask him but i'm gonna roll a decider die to see if they leave makahe in oh thank you guys for the <laughs> for the you club all right so here we go do they leave makahe in uh and no all right so they are going to bring in, um, they'll bring in, con well, actually, let's see. They're in the seventh inning now. Uh, let me see who he has set up for. Uh, the seventh uh, for a right-hander. Well, actually, boy, they really don't. And he has Kanoyer as just mop-up duty. So, um, I guess it would be, he'd go to a Huxford in this case. So, all right. So Huxford comes on, uh, a good game by Makahe going six innings. Uh, let's see, four hits, one run, but it wasn't an earned. 
uh, and he ended up with, a, was it nine strikeouts? Oh my goodness, yeah, nine strikeouts and no walks. So they will, they will take that <laughs> every time. Uh, it was just, he was a, a rough luck with that, that error. Never a good time for an error, but that was an especially bad time. All right, so here we go. So Huxford in now. Uh, and here comes Omar Tovar to the plate. Um, uh, ukulele night could be a <laughs> a good promotion. I, uh, they do make some some little cheap ukuleles um, that you can buy in bulk, and I only know that because my wife is a elementary music teacher um, and has done uh, ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> lessons with uh with the uh, like second and third graders before so um i yeah i i would go to a, a ukulele night dime beer and ukuleles there we go uh let's see oh and the minute man have a new hero and low and there we go oh no fernando will always have a special place in in the hearts of minute men fans but it is unfortunate that he's uh now with chicago but we're we're, we're pressing forward. Here we go. All right, so bottom of the seventh. New pitcher in for Nashville. Huxford Tovar. 1-3-6. Uh, ace. Uh, he does not get the ace quality because he is a left-hander. Tovar is right. Um, let's see. Is Tovar cold? Oh, actually, he is because he struck out uh, his last at-bat. So it's going to be a strikeout anyways. So Tovar down swinging. And there's one out. Nobody on for Heath Howes. Howes 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a flyout. 3-3-5. Three, three, Wild no. Sad sack no. Uh, that is going to be a single. Uh, he will not steal second as he is a full stoic runner. All right. So, runner on. And boy, oh boy, would we like to have a little bit of uh, um, breathing room. Uh, here comes the catcher, uh, Austin McCorder. McCorder 0 for 2, a strikeout and a ground out. Here's the delivery. Let's see, wild, no. Oh, so that's, that's the same thing. It's going to be another single. Um, let's see. And oh, and unfortunately, because um, because Howes is a full stoic, he is not going to advance to third um, because there's only one out. If there was two outs, he would advance to third. All right, so back to back singles has runners at first and second. And boy, oh boy, the bottom of the order maybe going to get something going here. Uh, Don De Jesus steps in. Uh, De Jesus is 0 for 1. Uh, he has walked and struck out. All right, Huxford struggling a little bit here. Can we get an insurance run in? 3, 5, 6. Uh, let's see. It's not the same, but he is a full utility. Oh, uh, So that's going to be a grounder to short. Uh, let's see. Um, and it's going to be a fielder's choice. All right, so they will get... Uh, the runner at second, but they will not be able to turn the double play. So De Jesus reaches on a fielder's choice. So we're going to have runners at the corners. And here we go. Sean Cardi steps up to the plate and the Bitty Beer fans on their feet. Sean Cardi is definitely due. He is uh, he is 0 for 3. Um, he did reach base on that fielder's choice. Um, and then later came around to score on the air. And boy, oh boy, this would be humongous if he was able to connect with one here. All right, so here we go. Huxford looks in, shakes off the first sign. Now he gets one that he likes. Kicks delivers oh boy and that is going to be plate drama as we do indeed have runners on base all right let's see three four uh he is not a wild pitcher so 
Curveball is going to snap in for a called strike. And we're going to go to the dreaded umpire chart. So we're going to go to the umpire chart with runners at first and third. Uh, and somehow, this is the first time we are going to the umpire chart here tonight. Let's see what happens. One, four. Is there a lenient umpire at home? Uh, no, he is strict and questionable. Um, oh, and it's not going to matter because it's a it's a fly out anyway. So it's a fly out for the third. Um, all right. So Cardi flies out to deep left field. And that will do it. So no runs, two hits, two runners left stranded. And it is still one to nothing as we head into the eighth inning. All right, so here in the eighth, we will bring in our setup pitcher, uh, Hideki Wada. We'll come in. Lowen did his job in the seventh, striking out the only two batters that he faced. All right, so Wada comes on to try to hold this to a one-run game. Uh, and he'll face the nine, one, and two batters. Uh, and Colton Grandstaff will start to do his stretching in the bullpen. Okay, let's see. Uh, Santos, one for two, singled and lined out. Here we go. Kicks, delivers. Uh, the batter is not patient. That is going to be a fly out to center field for the first out. And we are going to go to the chemistry chart. I don't think we've gone to the chemistry chart yet tonight. Uh, both teams, semi-harmonious. Here comes Blake Molyneux. Uh, Molyneux has walked twice and ground out. Uh, let's see. Batting Tim Dissonance, no. Uh, he is going to draw his third walk of the night. Wow. Uh, so Molyneux helping out his on-base percentage as he has reached base three times all via the walk. All right. So there we go. They've got a runner on. Here comes uh, Polly Potus, who uh, is having a night <laughs> not to remember. 0 for 3. He is ground into two double plays. Uh, and then just had a, a regular ground out in his last at-bat. Let's see what he does here. 2-4-4. Four, four. Oh, pitcher is not an ace. Uh, not a champion. Uh, he is going to... Oh, boy. It's lucky that he has the whiffer. Or it would have been... Well, it wouldn't have been a... Uh, it would have been a fielder's choice. But he is going to strike out. And Polly Potus. 0 for 4. On the night. Oh, boy. And he is frustrated. He will slam his helmet down as he gets back into the dugout. Here comes Garland Ard. Uh, Ard 0 for 3. A line out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Runner on first. Wada from the stretch. Uh, let's see. Ace, no. Uh, but Ard is a full whiffer, and he is going to strike out. So the tying run will once again be stranded on base. No runs, no hits. One runner left on. We will head to the bottom of the eighth, and it is one to nothing here in New England. Oh, boy. For all the fans of pitching duels, we have got a doozy going on here tonight. Uh, let's see. Huxford uh, would be uh, uh, only semi-fresh. Uh, let's see. I guess they are going to bring in Russell Bear. He has Russell Bear as his setup pitcher. So Russell Bear will come in. Uh, he will get um, a... Um, a temporary ace bo uh, bonus because he's a righty coming in to face a righty here to start the inning. So Huxford goes an inning. Um, gives up those two hits, but no runs come in. 
Uh, let's see, and did have the one strikeout. All right, so uh, here comes Bear. And he will have his work cut out for him. The two, three, and four batters <laughs> coming up. <laughs> nice. I just, Derek, I just saw your uh, <laughs> your zinger. I, I, I approve. I'm That is dad joke approved for sure. All right, so here comes Corbin Young. Corbin Young, uh, who in his first at bat flipped to his superstar side, but then has, uh, he got a single in his first at bat, but then has struck out and ground out. All right, so here we go. Let's see what he can do against Russell Bear. Um, oh, no. <laughs> and Russell Bear, uh, who has the double flash, he is going to get Young to strike out uh, for the first out. And then he will get J.R. Keel to strike out as well. So Russell Bear is just letting it fly. Uh, his last pitch reached 101 on the gun. Uh, nothing fancy to his <laughs> approach to the plate. Uh, here comes uh, Monik. Uh, Monik is 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. And oh my goodness, he does not want to get the golden sombrero of shame. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Bear kicks. Fires. Uh, let's see. And no, he will just get a ground out. Monet grounds out to first. And that will do it. Three up, three down. Nothing happening in the bottom of the eighth. And here we go to the ninth. And Colton Grandstaff will come in to try to lock down the game. All right, so Wada with a heck of an inning. <laughs> uh, no hits. Uh, let's see. He had one walk and then two strikeouts. All right, so Grandstaff going for his second save of the season. Uh, he also has a leap card. Uh, his trigger is the ace quality. He's a semi-ace, uh, but for this first batter, because he is the closer coming down in the ninth inning, he will be a semi-double ace. Uh, so here we go. Uh, facing the heart of the order, the uh, four, five, and six batters, Alex and Brogno steps up to the plate, and Brogno 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. And here we go. Uh, oh boy, and we are going to go to the unusual results chart. The red one, black three, uh, otherwise known as the memorable plays in the field. Oh boy. All right. Here we go. One, three. Is the right fielder iron? He is not. I have no iron um, fielders. Um, the only one who has the iron quality is Keel, and he's a DH. So... Um, uh, so that is Pastor who gets on his horse. Uh, what would have been a double, he is able to track that down in the gap, and that is a brilliant first out. And Grandstaff will point to Pastor in right, saying thank you for that. That one was all you. Okay, so there we go. One out, and base is empty. Here comes Alex Brown. Uh, Brown, one for, th uh, let's see, oh, whoops, put the F9 in the wrong place, all right, let's see, uh, Brown is, uh, Brown is two for three, he has singled twice, uh, in his last at bat, he was stranded at third, here we go. Two, four, six. That is a control check. Uh, Grandstaff has full flash and full control. That will be a comebacker to the mound. Grandstaff fields it cleanly and fires over to Young for the second out. And the Bitty Beer Ballpark crowd on its feet cheering. As 
Uh, most Reyna comes in. Uh, Reyna one for three. Uh, he has singled, struck out, and ground out. Uh, as Philip Reynolds joins us here, uh, Willy Wonka has not visited me yet. Um, not that I know of, anyways. I don't know. I'll have to check some of the secret hiding spots, but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully uh, tomorrow night at some point he will come and visit. All right, so here we go. Grand Staff gets a sign that he likes, brings it home. Uh, let's see, he is not a struggler. The pitcher is not patient. Uh, let's see, he always oh, a semi whiffer, but doesn't get the dot. But that'll just be a ground ball to third. And Howes has got it. And he will. <laughs> He'll pump once, pump twice, fires onto first, and that will do it. There we go. Fire the muskets. This one goes to the Minutemen. And what a fantastic game it was. Oh my goodness. one nothing is your final here from Bitty Beer Ballpark. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I did not have a one nothing game on my bingo card, that is for sure. Uh, so uh, Benny Herberto will get the win, uh, and he will be our MVP of the game. Uh, Lowen and Wada will get a hold, and Colton Grandstaff locks down his second save of the, eve or of the young season. Uh, Archie McCahe is going to be our tough luck loser of the night. Uh, and uh, giving up just one run that was unearned. How about that? A one nothing game, and the one run was um, an unearned run. So uh, a, a very, very close game. There we go. All right, well, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, hope that you enjoyed the show. I uh, appreciate everybody coming out joining me here on this good Friday. Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Um, if you uh, get to spend some time with family, hope it is a lot of fun. Stay safe on the roads out there. Uh, leave a like on your way out the door here tonight. A uh, big thank you to all of my AFR members. We are actually closing in on 50 members on the channel. Um, so if that is something that interests you, um, you can click the join button down below for more details on that. Uh, so until next time, my name is Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.